Speaking of empowered skin and the beauty, I think it's a time for all of us to get the facts straight and know what products and method will really deliver results and are worthy of a place in your life. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, beautiful face yogis. How are you feeling today? I was just so blown away how many stories, how many all the、um, tips many of you got from your mother figures or grandmothers. And then some of them have been passed for generations. Is it wonderful? And a lot of them just don't work. I don't think so. But many of them do. So, I have to try some of the things shared in the、um, social media we got from Face Yogis. But I have compiled a list of five most common myths about skincare. You can tell your age by looking at your mom. Right? Wow. How many of you heard this one? Like, if you look at your mom, you can really tell your age by just looking at your mom. It's so interesting. You know, it was common in Japan too when I was growing up. By looking at your mom, that's how you're gonna look in the future, and you can tell the person's age. People are always telling me this is something I had it for the longest time. Oh, your skin is good because you're Asian. I had a bad skin. I really had a bad skin when I was younger, and I didn't have a confidence for the longest time. And also, I cannot tell you how many times I've heard of this one. Oh, because you know, you have a, you're lucky you got the skin from your mom. No, I had a bad skin and had to convince people. Sometimes I have to show the picture look, this is the skin I had. So that's not really true. Of course, it plays some role, you know, if you have、um, certain. It, A certain ethnicity has probably more tolerance toward the sun or has more、um, certain skin condition. But there's so much more when it comes to skin. It's not just a genetic determine everything. Another myth is if you have acne, you should only use oil free products and often and wash your face often. That's what I learned from my mom. My mom told me, Oh, wash your face, wash your face. So I ended up, you don't believe me, I ended up washing my face sometimes four times a day with strong soap, oil free strong soap. And I just washed, 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 washed. Because my idea is because my mom said, Oh, wash your face, wash your face. So I thought the more I wash my face, The more my face gets better and acne, acne was not going to show up. But what happened was that I really washed, overwashed my skin and、um, my skin got so sensitive, but also started producing massive oil to protect my damaged skin because I overwashed. So, in the end, what happened was that my skin got so oily. I, I couldn't believe how oily it was. Like, if I put the paper on my face, maybe the paper stayed there. And because I saw oil, I washed more. I washed more. Four times sometimes, four times a day. Morning and before lunchtime, after lunch. No, I don't know how I remember like, how I washed it, but at least four times. It's so bad. Don't do that. Four times with strong soap. Let me tell you right away, you know, these are not true. I studied for the longest time. I learned so much more now. And I struggle with severe acne, like I said, when I was younger. And I didn't know what to do. There's no internet, there's no Google. Only, only way is just listen to my mom. And I, mom took me to dermatologist. And he's like, Yeah, wash your face. But that was it. Wash your face and put this cream. So I washed my face and put the cream, and that's lasted for several years. But it was not right. And I tried so many products, and nothing worked. And sometimes I said to myself, like, wow, I'm gonna have this skin, and I have to just deal with it. Until I tried to learn more about the skin and ingredients in skincare products, and what my skin was really needed at the time. And that changed my skin condition dramatically. On top of that, The hundred times fresh face washing worked great, and there's a little tip in here and there I often share through this、um, platform, right? So, some of you have tried it. 
And also there are more skincare myths that I really encourage you to read on my blog because I really want you to feel empowered when making decisions on your skin. That's your skin. It's it's the skin that covers head to toe. It's not something like buying a car or buying a clothes. Oh, I'm gonna just buy a new skin. You cannot do that. Yes, some people say, oh, I just get the surgery. I just, you know, resurface my skin and they get a nicer skin and a chemical peeling on all that. But your skin is reflection of what's happening inside, mentally and physically, and how you take care of them. It can you can change 100% naturally and without all the uh, invasive treatments or very, very expensive, you know, um, scary injections and all this. It's possible. Speaking of empowered skin and the beauty, I think it's a time for all of us to get the facts straight and know what products and method will really deliver results and are worthy of a place in your life. I understand myself, my skin more than ever. So I have a way for you to do that, okay? Beauty and empowerment. You need to really get all the facts, what your skin needs. And I'll see you very soon. And uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Bye.